welcome back to Amy's Movie Review, where I just watched Donnie Darko, and holy sh that was a really good movie, but the ending was so confusing. Okay, so Donnie Darko is a movie about a kid named Donnie Darko, who, like, I don't know how to explain it, but because it was so good. It's also a Patrick Swayze movie, and the guy from my car is in the movie, but I think those are just minor things that don't really, we shouldn't really talk about right now, but. Luckily, there there's a comment on the place where I watched the video from um, D-D-U-E-U-E, or D-D-U-E, I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll read it because I really don't know how to explain this. There's two universes, a normal universe, universe one, and a fragmented universe, universe two. We don't know what, um, if anything caused the universes to split, but they did. And the movie up to the end is set in universe two, which is what the movie was in the beginning. Universe two has a messed up timeline, making it unstable, and so eventually it will collapse, which is the end of the universe. When Universe 2 is created, it also creates an artifact in the universe, the plane engine. If this artifact isn't removed from Universe 2 before the collapse, then the universe, instead of collapsing safely, will collapse into a black hole which will destroy Universe 1 and Universe 2. Also, whenever the un new universe is created, a random person gets special powers, in this case, Donnie. These powers make it so that they are the only person capable of getting the artifact out and saving the universe. Frank is what's known as a manipulated dead. He becomes this when Donnie shoots him for running over Gretchen, the girl. The manipulated dead are able to go back and forward in time and have knowledge on the impending disaster. So Frank, being one of these, is trying to get Donnie to save Universe 1. The reason Frank has Donnie destroy the school is that so that Donnie can meet the girl while walking. Without this, the girl, Gretchen, would have never um been, been ran over and Donnie would have never shot him. So Frank would have never come into existence and manipulated dead. Frank caused his own death because if he didn't, he would have to be a manipulated dead and thus never have convinced Donnie to leave the house and go on the mission to save the universe. When Donnie is sitting on the mountain, he uses his powers of telekinesis to guide the artifact back into Universe 1 right before Universe 2 collapses. Mean that Universe 2 collapses safely, not becoming black hole and destroying Universe 1. When the universe collapses, the scene changes to Universe 1, where the artifact has been transported. And because it's been transported there, it falls on Donnie's house. Since Frank doesn't exist in Universe 1, Donnie's been told to leave the house by him and dies to the engine. Because, like, that was nuts, man. That was... I don't even... Like... This movie is really, really good. You need to watch this movie right now. I don't care what you're doing. I, I will link this in the description, but you need to watch this movie. Like, yes, it's going to confuse you. And yes, this movie did end up getting a shitty sequel where his little sister was the main character. But please, you have to watch this because this is so good. Listen, if you're older and you watch my videos, you can watch this stoned. I feel like you would imagine this if you were stoned. And if you watch this drunk, hell, maybe you'll still understand it. But, but... Oh, man. This was good. This was this was a really good movie. I'm putting it on 10 out of 10. Holy moly, man. Oh, my God. I gotta go. I gotta go, man. I gotta, I gotta rethink my whole life. I couldn't even focus on Patrick Swayze, man. I was like, Patrick, listen, I love you, but we're focusing on Donnie, you know? Thank you for watching the video. Um, I hope you enjoy this movie when I uh, make you watch it. But, I mean, you can just watch it whenever you want. So, uh, yeah. Keanu Archive in the next video. Or, you know, after this video. And uh, the next thing I'm reviewing is Mountain Private Idaho. Like a re-review. So, uh, yeah.